NVIDIA just bought, announced, is buying $5 billion worth of Intel common stock to form a partnership to develop products together. What? This is, this is their competition. Yet, it's also one of the biggest threats. Intel is one of the biggest threats to NVIDIA. And even Jetson Yong in the book, The Thinking Machine, said the only way, only reason Intel is not killing it is strategy, is its ability to execute. And so what now you're seeing, yesterday, China came out and said, told all the companies in China, you, you can't buy from NVIDIA anymore, which sunk the stock back down to its put wall, which if you don't know what that is, you should subscribe to the best of US investors and get the daily gamma report. But it dropped to that, and today it looks to open right around $174 a share right up against its call wall. Whoa, and it's all news driven. Yet the option market is telling you this before it even happens. This is crazy. We saw this in the S&P 500. We saw it come down to its gamma flip line around 6,600. Boom, went below it. Intraday closes above it. Support, the option market's telling you where these socks are pinned until tomorrow's OPEX day. And it's a big one, it's September OPEX. This could be a big deal. But going back to this Intel NVIDIA relationship that we're gonna see happen, what happens to Taiwan Semiconductor? I mean, that's where they send all their chip designs to be manufactured. Does that mean they see a th threat of China invading Taiwan? And they're like, oh, we're not gonna get caught out in the cold on this. We're gonna start dipping our toes in the water with Intel. And we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna throw a measly $5 billion at it. See how this partnership works. And then maybe they scale it up. And maybe Intel becomes the manufacturer of all of NVIDIA's semiconductors or more likely or potentially nvidia buys intel a major merger then they have the ability to manufacture then they don't have these geopolitical fights nvidia that is to deal with intel is a company who hasn't been in, able to implement strategy or growth in any way for a long time Yet they've got the skills. Even Jensen Young said it. It's a threat if they get their shit together. Well, maybe this is Jensen is seeing the writing on the wall and saying China is the biggest threat to NVIDIA's business because they could walk into Taiwan and take it over and then shut NVIDIA out. You look at the support Alibaba's getting now with their chip designs and implementation in China. Who do you think controls Alibaba? China, China government. So I believe what we're seeing is a bring it all back to the United States movement and it's being led by one of the wealthiest companies, market cap companies, and one of the smartest CEOs when it comes to strategy and development. Read The Thinking Machine, great book. I'm halfway through it, but even being halfway through it, I'm like, oh, I get it. I see where Jensen's going. I see where NVIDIA's going. I understand just a bit more that tells me NVIDIA 200, 220 by year's end. Have a great day. Do your best. Subscribe to the best of U.S. investors. 14-day free trial. Link in the bio. Live, live, live loud. This is a gift. Every day is a gift. Do great things with it. Live loud. See ya.